At the moment, Russia has the most advanced and deadliest frigate ever built, the Admiral Gorshkov class. The frigate is one of the oldest types of naval military vessels. Although they have been used for many years, they still serve in almost every nation's navy for different roles. Frigates are versatile ships that can help defend, attack, and help the fleet in many ways. That being said, you understand that this type of ship can be very important on the battlefield. At the moment, Russia has the most advanced and deadliest frigate ever built, the Admiral Gorshkov class. But, why is this vessel so powerful? An overview of the ship. The Admiral Gorshkov class frigates are the newest class of frigates that Russia has built and are also called Project 22350. They are built by the Severnaya Verf in St. Petersburg and are successors of the Nastrashimaya and Krivak classes. The major shipyard started construction the ships in 2006 and so far there are two active ships, five still building, and 15 are planned. The first frigate was started serving for the Russian Navy in 2018. The official type of vessel is guided missile frigates. The ship has a displacement of 4,550 tons and 5,400 tons in full load, an overall length of 443 feet, 135 meters, a beam of 52 feet, 16 meters, and a top speed of 29.5 knots, 33.9 miles per hour. The frigate has two shaft Kodak propulsion systems, two 10D-49 cruise diesel engines, and two M90FR boost gas turbines. The range of the ship is 4,850 nautical miles, 5,580 miles or 8,980 kilometers, when sailing at 14 knots, 16 miles per hour, and an endurance of 30 days. The Admiral Gorshkov class is equipped with many advanced radars for every role, for aerial targets, the 5P27 Fake 4 is the main radar for air search detection, and the 5P20K Polymant 4 is for the faced active phased array search. The 34K1 Monolith is used for surface search, the 5P10 Puma is the artillery fire control radar, and when it comes to sonar, the Zarya M towed array sonar does all the work for the vessel. For navigation usage, the frigate uses three PAL-N radars and the Vigstar Centaurov's New Mexico for communication. Last but not least, the electro-optical system used is the Vigstar Centaurus New Mexico, and the combat system is the Sigma 22350. On the armament, the frigates feature several countermeasures to electronic warfare and decoys, and also carry a 130mm Amethyst Arsenal A192M naval gun. The standard Project 22350 has 16 vertical launching system cells, and the upgraded 22350 has 32 VLS cells. The VLS missiles used are the Calibre, Onyx, or Zircon anti-ship cruise missiles. Other options are the UKSK and Resurs VLS cells. There are two Palash Su systems mounted on the boat, and the vessel also has 8,330mm torpedo tubes for launching the packet NK anti-submarine torpedoes that can also be used against torpedoes. Last but not least, there are two 14.5mm MTPU pedestal machine guns and a deck for one Ka-27 series helicopter to be deployed. Here's why it is the most dangerous frigate. If you haven't been convinced yet, let us inform you that these specifications and armament are very advanced for a single military vessel. Considering the ship is a frigate, the systems and missiles that this boat carries are very impressive. The Admiral Gorshkov class has the right equipment to perform successfully against submarines, aircraft, and of course hostile hostiles and other ships. It may not be a destroyer, but the ship has very similar capabilities to such warships. The latest frigates of Project 22350 will be deployed in the Black Sea. They are armed with caliber crews and Sirkin hypersonic missiles. All the necessary infrastructure will be built. The Russian Navy operates a single frigate, the Admiral Gorshkov. The Admiral Kasatinov second frigate is undergoing acceptance trials. It is likely to become operational by the end of the year. The third and the fourth the Admiral Golovko and the Admiral Isakov have to join the Navy in two years. Two more frigates were laid a year ago. The frigates have stealth features. They were produced with composite materials and have a new hull and superstructure architecture. It all decreased the frigate's signature. 
The warships destroy surface and ground targets from 130mm artillery gun A192M and by anti-ship Onyx and cruise caliber missiles. In the near future, the frigates have to be armed with hypersonic Zircon missiles. No air defense in the world can intercept them because of the high speed. They are being tested. In February, the Admiral Gorshkov fired at Zircon at a ground target from the Barents Sea. Polymentry Dut and two Palash artillery guns defend the warship from an air raid. The former has polymint radar with a phased antenna array. The missiles are kept in universal vertical launchers comprising modules of four or eight cells each. Each complex can attack 16 targets at a time. It mostly intercepts airplanes, helicopters and cruise missiles. The automatic control is easily integrated with others into a single combat contour. An automatic control system has been tested in Crimea. It integrates all air defense of the peninsula, including warships and aircraft. It ensures single command of fighter jets, bombers, attack jets, helicopters, drones, as well as air defense and radars. The Admiral Kasatinov will have a number of robotic systems to increase combat effectiveness. They are Orlin 10 drones and unmanned boats. The drones allow the frigate to operate as a scout and an electronic warfare complex. The Admiral Golovko, the Russian Navy's 3rd Admiral Gorshkov class frigate, Russian designation Project 22350, will become the first carrier of Tsirkin hypersonic missiles, a defense industry source told TASS. It is planned that Admiral Golovko will become the first standard carrier of Tsirkins, the source said. The Admiral Golovko, the 3rd Project 22350 frigate, was laid on February 1, 2012 and floated out on May 22, 2020. The Admiral Gorshkov and the Admiral Kasatinov frigates are already operational. Another six frigates are under construction. Frigates of Project 22350 are designated to fight submarines and warships in oceans and seas, and to repel air attacks both independently and within formations. The hull of the frigates is flush-decked. It has a three-island superstructure, one mass turret and one steel funnel. Stealth technologies were used in the construction to make the warship practically invisible for the radars of the potential adversary. Full displacement is 5,000 tons, the length is 135 meters. The speed is 29 knots. The crew comprises over 170 men. Diesel gas turbine power plant has a capacity of 65,000 horsepower. It can carry Ka-27 helicopter or its modifications. Earlier, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Zirkin missiles, capable of developing a speed of about Mach 9, and with striking range capability exceeding 1,000 kilometers, will enter combat duty in Russia soon.